So ladies and gentlemen, a few years back when I was still sports editor of the uh, Bugle in Woodstock, New Brunswick, I was covering a Junior B game, uh, Western Valley uh, in the Florenceville area. And there was a fan at the contest was basically saying, yeah, this is not very good level of hockey. Junior B goes nowhere. Well, I said, what about Jack Valiquette? And the guy said, what do you mean Jack Valiquette? Well, I said, didn't he play Junior B a year before he made the Maple Leafs? And the guy said, well, yeah, you're right. You never know. He said, maybe I, I, I should watch what I'm saying. Well, I said, don't say that in front of Jack Valiquette. So all I can tell you, when Jack Valiquette made the NHL, he reminded everybody and to, his, uh, to his neighbor that a year before he was drafted, he was with the St. Mary's Lincoln's Junior B squad of the WOHL. And he put up some really impressive numbers, 88 points in 42 games. Sault Ste. Marie, uh, you know, kept kept him in their sights. They brought him in the 74 season, and he put out some outstanding numbers. 135 points in 69 games. Now, Toronto decided to draft him 13 overall in the 74 draft. He had his first game with the Leafs in 75. Then went on to Oklahoma City for some, uh, some training, but eventually had a uh, very strong career. Uh, for the 1970s into the 80s. Now, he was available in the 74 draft because, again, the league's decision, we talked about Rick Hampton, to allow the drafting of underage players uh, that year. And he was only 18 for his draft year. He was going to win two more years. So he went from Junior B as a 15, 16-year-old to an NHL draftee to about a year, year and a half later. Now, what was unique as well, he... Uh, he took power skating lessons with noted Russian coach Yasha Shemushkin prior to Toronto 74 training camp. Now, he did miss the majority of Toronto's training camp uh, that year with a shoulder injury, but he eventually played on Toronto's brat line for his time, major time with the Leafs with Tiger Williams and Pat Boutet in 76 and 77. Now, he missed some most of the 81 season uh, with a foot infection, suffered in... Uh, in March 81, he did eventually find his way in Colorado, but did not make the team in that year and chose to, re to retire. Now, uh, when Toronto traded Valiquette to Colorado and exchanged the, uh, uh, for a second round draft pick, now, uh, originally it was called a future draft pick, but the initial rules were quickly changed after that. It, it stated you had to say which draft, the pick would be available. You couldn't say a future draft pick. You could say future considerations, but you couldn't say future draft pick. So that alone changed a little bit. Now his best season with the with the uh, uh, with the uh, Leafs was uh, the uh, the seventy seven season. He had forty five points in sixty six games. When he was traded to Colorado, his numbers went went up as well. He had two back to back seasons uh, in the twenty three to twenty five. Uh, game range, a goal range, and eventually ended his career with 84 goals and 134 assists for 218 points in 350 games. Now, he did, uh, after not making Colorado, he did decide to play in the CHL for a while, put up some big numbers, but like most uh, young prospects back in the day, uh, the, uh, the bird, uh, they would uh, burn, up, uh, burn up after a few seasons, but when he was there, like you know, he wasn't uh, too bad in the playoffs. That 76 playoff, when he played against the uh, Flyers in 76, him and Boutet and Williams were kind of driving some of the Flyers uh, players uh, nuts because, uh, you know, uh, Valiquette with the right uh, line mates could really, really, uh, you know, be a strong playmaker. And you look at that last year with Sault Ste. Marie, 135 points in 69 games. Like I said, you give him the right line mate, he was going to do a lot. So that's the uh, curious case of the very talented Pat Boutet. If you like what we're doing here, please give us a comment, like, or subscribe. And uh, any uh, uh, requests are more than welcome on this Sports Wild Vintage NHL channel. Have a good day. Bye.